So hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video I'd like to show you kind of an alternative to sketching using the saw tool for, that we did in the first uh, video. It wasn't as cumbersome, but uh, one of the drawback of the saw tool is if you begin to take that saw tool apart, you lose some of your uh, sketch relations and geometry associated with it. You have to just have to go back in and put in those uh, sketch relations. But something that's really easy to do in regard to sketching is just just to sketch out the basic shape. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll start on the right plane and uh, we'll start all over and we'll start uh, drawing our geometry out. So we'll kind of start uh, near the origin down here. We'll draw a line out. We know, yep, you got to be, make sure you're not too quick on the mouse. But we're going to draw a line that's going to be vertical and it's going to go up about five inches. And remember what we did in the last video in regard to getting that arc? Simply by going back to that other point allows us to draw that line out as an arc rather than a line. So we're going to go back and do a line. Again, we're going to do, hmm, it didn't quite work out. So from that point, go back to it. We're going to grab that arc, go around the corner, kind of go up at an angle, back to that point, do another arc, go straight down over here, and then we're going to go back to that point and do an arc down here. Let's just go ahead and connect it that way. So it looks kind of funny. Well, let's go in and start putting in some of our sketch relationships in here and uh, our dimensions and we'll go ahead and finish this off. One thing you want to do in regard to uh, drawing like this is you want to, uh, in regard to that feature on the top, let's go ahead and put in a, um, a center line like, like we just did. Let's make that vertical and uh, start defining some of the relationships in regard to that. We're going to make a symmetric relationship between all that. And now we're going to draw that, uh, or put in that dimension from uh, the origin down here to the top of our arc. And just like we did last time, last time, excuse me, in a previous film, we want to make sure that we do the top of the arc, or just do the arc itself, in order to provide that uh, relationship in, re in regard to getting that dimension all over to the top of that arc. So remember, we go to the leaders, go to max, and we'll make that a maximum uh, condition on that uh, dimension. Type in 5 for that. And while we still have a smart dimension uh, dialog box still open, let's just go ahead and uh, continue to dimension this. So that's going to be 0.75, and oh, probably should have put some uh, sketch relations uh, in, in here before that. But uh, let's go ahead and do that right now. So that's going to be a tangent. That's already a tangent. Let's go ahead and grab these two. We picked up the dimension, so it's not going to give us that uh, mouse uh, shortcut. So that looks a little bit better. Uh, let's make these two equal to each other. Let's dimension one of them. Probably the one on the bottom. 0.25. And now we have our last few dimensions. We have a 70 degree dimension between these two. You can see it uh, beginning to come together. Uh, between these two uh, points, we're going to make that a half an inch. And between that point and that line, the line's a little bit better than, uh, than a point. Uh, uh, such as the origin, but uh, that line is, uh, has an association with the origin, so that's okay. That's going to be 2.25. So just like with the last sketch, it comes together in, uh, in about the same amount of time. With this sketch, as opposed to the last sketch that we put together, this one has to do with uh, just simply drawing out a bunch of lines and arcs. As we went around our uh, what would uh, appear to be the outside of our, our, our model, we uh, defined uh, the edges of that with just a series of lines and arcs simply starting from the line command and getting the arc option off that line command. Okay, circle on the bottom. I believe this is a half inch circle. So let's go ahead and put that uh, dimension in there. We're going to define that to the origin. That's one advantage to uh, you having the origin right there. It uh, appears to be the center of a lot of the geometry we're going to be drawing from this. Now once we do that, then we're going to go to features. Now one thing about the features, we're going to do an extrude boss space. We're going to go out uh, 0.375, that's what our says there, just noticed. But we also want to do selected contours. We want to make it, and we also don't want to do mid-plane too. We want to make it so we can take this hole and do something with it. We want to do a linear pattern with that, and that's something to kind of keep in mind about um, this. If we just do the green check mark right now, we want to do a linear pattern off that ba uh, boss extrude, which you'd probably rename to our base. If we want to do that, what it's going to do is we don't have a hole as a separate feature, it's just the base. If we want to do a linear pattern on that base, it's going to grab that whole feature, that whole part, and actually do a linear pattern on that part rather than that hole. So it may not come out looking as uh, well as what we think. 
and if we were to put in like maybe four units in that with the direction going up just to give me an example of what that might look like hmm it's not liking this but features to pattern yeah we want to take the major feature there so green check mark you can see what that's going to look like and that's by no means what we're what we're looking for here so let's back up a, a step another option here when you go to linear pattern again set your uh, direction we're going to go up and that set of features to pattern maybe faces to pattern that might work green check mark and now it does allow us to uh, take those holes and uh, pattern those so there's three options when you go to linear pattern you can uh, pattern a feature you can pattern a face like we do, well, like what we just did or you can pattern a body if you have a separate body and uh, we'll talk about bodies in another in another in another in another video so that's kind of the base here but what I really really like to do instead of doing a linear pattern off the base when we go to the base I'll show you another option for doing that let's go ahead and do a select contour on that and select the two contours where we want so we want the base contour here plus we want the hole and go to green check mark so now it's uh, all contiguous it's one uh, unit and now we're going to create a whole separate uh, feature using and borrowing our sketch which is labeled sketch 5 we're going to borrow that sketch and do this uh, something very similar we're going to go to extrude cut and uh, it's going to cut it uh, the whole feature out uh, three quarters of an inch we don't want to do blind we want to do mid plane but we're going to go to select the contours this time again and this time only select the contour for that hole and we're going to call that bottom hole so there we have it. So now we have two different features. We have our base feature and our bottom hole feature. In the bottom hole feature we're going to do the linear pattern. And then our last step is going to put in uh, that hole wizard feature. Which is going to be a threaded fastener, 5 16th of an inch by 24 threads per inch. And then our model will be done and we'll be able to compare mass properties when we do that.